What's up, folks? So, um, we're going to talk about the uh, market today because we know September is a rough month for crypto. It's just it just is, um, and it always has been. So we're going to go through all of that along with, um, in particular, Avalanche ecosystem and just take a look at that and some interesting piece of news that's come out of the UK. Uh, before I do, as always, I upspread my update and my spreadsheet. Can't speak today. If you'd invested 100 bucks into each one of the coins I spoke about, and the, these are the first 26 coins I spoke about on YouTube. If you'd invested 100 bucks into each one when I released the videos and you're still holding your bag, you'd be in profit for $49,300. And then your $2,600 investment, you're basically sitting on uh, 52 grand. Phantom is leading the way. That was the a Udemy course I did where I said it'd be the best investment of the year. If you'd put in um, 100 bucks into that, you'd be sitting on $29,700. That's a 297x. Pretty good. Um, I've held every single one of these at one point or another. Closed positions in profit on damn near all of them. Bar Green Green never really got into profit. It was a massive disappointment. Um, and reinvested that money into new cryptos. You want to see the cryptos I hold, check out Copy My Crypto. I have built this portfolio to maximize gains during this bull cycle. If you want to see exactly what I hold and why they are so good and the potential growth of this portfolio, along with some amazing short-term investment opportunities and just some real quick profits to build your wealth, then click the link in the description and check out guys All right uh let's talk the news coming out of the uk so crypto uh, is going to be sold via a post office app um which is pretty interesting so the post office app uh, easy id has like 10 million users um and they'll have access to swarm markets um where they can buy cryptocurrencies um, once you've verified your ID on the app, you can use the Swarm's website and buy cryptocurrency vouchers that can be redeemed for crypto, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Um, Post Office apparently are not getting commission for this on the vouchers sold, but is paid by Swarm markets for the use of Easy ID. So I'm sure they're going to make decent returns on that. Um, Chartered financial planner Warren Shute said when people buy cryptocurrencies, they should be sold with a very clear wealth warning. You could get back a lot less than you purchased. It's one thing buying crypto online via an investment platform, as what as that's what the audience expects. But you don't associate this with the post office. Yes, of course, but you know, and you have to give a financial warning because, of course, you can lose money. Of course, you can, but you can also do that on the stocks. You can also do that on assets. You know, it's it's of course you can lose money, but it's a ridiculous. It's an unnecessary end to the thing. Uh, Forbes have thrown out a nice negative uh, headline. They always like to. Two high-profile central bankers have warned Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are at risk of collapsing and are not a good safeguard of wealth. Um, but it's Forbes. Again, it's Forbes. Forbes hates crypto. They go out of the way to really push negative headlines on crypto consistently. Um, and... This was partly expected as well, to some degree. You expected the sell the news moment. You also expect there's going to be a rough time of it with um, in the short term, with during September with crypto anyway. So again, sort of a nonsense headline. There serious risk of collapse. There will be a bear cycle. Of course, there will be a bear cycle. It's a cyclical market. Um, but we're not at risk of a bear cycle this month. We're not at risk of jumping into a bear cycle out of nowhere. Um, that will come, but probably December, January, maybe even February if you're lucky, but definitely not this month. It's ridiculous. Um, as you can see, I mean, if you check normal coin market cap, cryptos are taking a hit left, right, and center. Um, there's very few that are in positive um in in a positive price at the moment the majority are just down um but it's sort of what's it again like we know september is a rough month uh one of the best performers is avalanche and actually if we look at avalanche's ecosystem they're smashing it by the way guys if you're looking if you're ever looking at the cryptocurrency category for the love of god keep an eye on stuff like because people will look at the average price change of uh, masternodes which is huge, right? But look at the gainers and losers. 
there's 34 winners and the rest have lost. The reason that the price is up is because one particular coin has went up staggering amounts and it's thrown the mark and it's skewed the average. Um, and that's really important. Like I know, I know a lot of people that end up buying on impulse uh, generally. Um, which is not a great habit to be in, but if you buy on impulse and then you're going, oh, wow, they, these bloody master nodes are going to absolutely, they're absolutely smashing it. I'm definitely going to get in on this. It's a bad decision. Look, you know why that's smashing it? It's done $18 of volume in the day. Not 18 million, not 18,000, $18. Of course that's skewed. And so that's all it's done. And that skewed it by 7,000%. So someone really overbought with their $18. <laughs> like really overbought. Um, so, you know, bear that in mind for the love of God, because it's so easy to, if you're not paying attention to some little details, it's really easy to get screwed. Because look, again, $7 and it pumped it by 69%. Um, you know, 19,000 pumped it by 100% plus really important to be careful at least that's got over a hundred thousand but even then i wouldn't be happy with that volume these will all retrace dramatically so don't for the love of god um but actually what i want to talk about was avalanche so avalanche is up 6.79 percent but it's actually of the all the categories it's probably doing the best across the board 34 winners compared to 24 losers um so far bigger field than like retail here um and Avalanche's ecosystem, along with Avalanche, continue to run very well, or are doing very well. Avalanche is up, you know, 8.7%. Reef is up. Um, Orion, Trust Swap, uh, ben Benqui. Uh, so, yeah, so they're doing all right. They've got, and obviously, there's a few, um, there's a few cryptos built on or working with Avalanche that are about launches. So you've got uh, Avalanche, um, which is doing okay. Uh, Pools, which was doing okay. And obviously Trust Swap, because of the launch pad soon, we'll be back in that phase of uh, excitement and FOMO. And you'll see some ridiculous pumps on launches like 10Xs, 20Xs, 30Xs again. Um, the reason that I like Avalanche, to be fair, you know, you, when it comes to Avalanche, you've got a uh, crypto that has not only gained in value really rather well over the course of its sort of year. Um, you know, even if you go back to the sort of launch point, really, it was around four bucks or five bucks. So it's actually done a good 10x. Um, it's a smart contract platform. It's fast. It's efficient. It's perfect for DeFi. Um, and the biggest thing, the most important thing at the moment is competition for Ethereum because fees continue on a, to be too high on Ethereum. And until things are fully in place with Ethereum, other smart contract platforms are set to do well. Cardano is launched, is launching their smart contracts. Um, and that should have an incredible boom for not only Cardano's price, but for the ecosystem as well. I'd be keeping my eye on every small cap Cardano project because they could potentially have a real, real good run. Um, but yeah, when you're looking at, I mean, I, and like I said, I like Avalanche. It's, it's a solid platform. It's a solid smart contract uh, platform. Fast transactions per second, cheap, a lot better than Ethereum currently is. Um, so yeah, I expect to see Avalanche doing well but in the same way, you know, we're going to see Cosmos's ecosystem start running quite well, very soon. Cosmos continues to gain momentum in terms of price as well. Um, so I could see Cosmos, Cosmos's ecosystem start to, um, really jump, um, up. And Solana has obviously had a good run lately, so that's having some, the tiniest of retracements. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on smart contract um, ecosystems because they, a lot, some of the smaller caps are the ones that are going to run really well. Um, and it might be an opportunity to make some quick money in this market. Um, 
But bear in mind, in a rough month like September, where big coins are struggling, tends to mean that the smaller cap coins have even worse days. So you'd have to pick well. But it's something to consider. I uh, hope everyone's doing well and having a good weekend. Um, as always, guys, check out Copy My Crypto. Like I said, this is a, a portfolio I've built. It's my portfolio that I've built to maximize gains in this bull cycle. The way I've done it is that it allows me to take small like risks on coins that I think could 100x like Phantom did, although obviously 300x, but um, because, of the, because of the way it's been built, my big boys continue to do very, very well. And then smaller, tiny percentages can be played around with to try and make those 100, 200, whatever X gains. And that's the opportunity that you want to take. So if you want to be a part of that, click the link in the description. Anyway, have a good day, guys.